God's not waiting to judge you. God's not waiting to condemn you. He's waiting to receive you with mercy, with love, with open arms and forgive all your sins. You know, there only comes a few times in our lives when Jesus of Nazareth passes by and we have an opportunity like we have tonight to receive him. You may never have a tomorrow as far as God is concerned. There are people here tonight that may never be alive tomorrow. You may never hear the gospel again like this or your heart may not be this tender toward God. Come while you can and don't put it off. God is waiting to welcome you with open arms, to receive you as you come to him in repentance and faith. Simple and yet could be life changing tonight. And all of heaven will rejoice. Grace to you. Hebrews, the fourth chapter, the 16th verse declares, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. It's November 2015 and the Lord has been faithful. It's been a beautiful year thus far and God has been gracious and merciful and I am so very grateful for the mercy of our God. Now remember, His grace is not based on my works. His love is not determined by my actions. God's love and mercy towards us is determined by the finished work of Jesus on the cross. Now I am welcomed into His holy presence because of the blood of Jesus. I am forgiven because of the blood of Jesus. We walk in divine healing because of the mercy of God. The scripture says, let us come boldly before the throne of grace. The throne of God is described as a throne of grace. Take note, not a throne of judgment, we are living today in the dispensation of God's grace. This is a time where God's love is extended without any limitations to you and the entire human race. It's the time of grace unmerited, grace without limits, grace infinite. It's the time for us to reach out to God and embrace and love Him with all our hearts. It's also a season to reach out to our loved ones and bring them into the grace and mercy of our God. Have your children heard about the love of God? Does your family know about the loving God that you serve? Has your neighbor heard about the love of God? Does that dear friend in your car Know that God is a God of mercy, that God is a God of forgiveness, that God is a God of love. Family, God is not sitting on a throne of judgment, judging humanity, screaming down at us. Jesus never went around shouting at people. Jesus did not go around condemning, shouting, ranting, and raving. Oh no, the God of the Bible had children come sit on his lap. Prostitutes found mercy at the feet of Christ. Sinners found peace in the arms of Christ. If the throne of Christ is called grace, why are we sitting on thrones of judgment and judging others? Let grace flow from your heart. Let grace flow from your lips. Let the grace of God fill our lives as we love all those we touch. God loves you, friend, more than you would ever know. And today, God is reaching out to you. Family, it's time to come home. God loves you dearly. The scripture declares, 
let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need remember I'm standing with you in prayer let's receive the blessing of the Lord this beautiful gracious November morning the Lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace this is your friend and brother Mervyn Naidu reminding you that the devil is a liar Jesus is Lord and you are more than a conqueror God's not waiting to judge you God's not waiting to condemn you he's waiting to receive you with mercy with love with open arms and forgive all your sins you know there only comes a few times in our lives when Jesus of Nazareth passes by and we have an opportunity like we have tonight to receive him you may never have a tomorrow as far as God is concerned there are people here tonight that may never be alive tomorrow you may never hear the gospel again like this or your heart may not be this tender toward God come while you can and don't put it off God is waiting to welcome you with open arms to receive you as you come to him in repentance and faith simple and yet could be life-changing tonight and all of heaven will rejoice